So let's get to it. Let's do the Pokemon cards first. There's a decent little stack here. Give me a second. I'm going to go double check to see if I put that other Charizard. It's around here somewhere. It's kind of a cool card that could be Where worth a little bit of money. Hi, Cask. Hi. Where the hell did I put that Hello. card? Oh, you did it twice? Hi. I thought that was two people. This is what happens when I'm not looking. Mm -hmm. I don't know where my Charizard card is, man. Hi, hello. You're not new here. Razzlo, hi. Hang on. I'm going to go look for something. Hello. Hello. Aha, ah, found it. Here we go. This one went into a sleeve. That's how I, that's, it's a Charizard. I know it's hard to see, but it's very sparkly. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it there. Eh, come on, light. Work with me here. Ah, you can see it where there's a glare. Anyway, um, we're going to go through these Pokemon cards and just for funsies, we're going to see if they're worth anything. You know, I think that'd be kind of fun. It's a little different. People love Pokemon cards. Uh oh, I dropped Xerneas. I dropped Pokemon God. Oh, no, wait. That's Arceus, right? Arceus is Pokemon God or Xerneas is Pokemon God? I don't remember. I'm bad at this. <laughs> like most things on Twitch, I'm bad at this. Um, let me get to that screen. Let me bring that over. I'll show you the screen that I use. Uh, the website that I think a lot of people use to price cards to see if they're worth anything. And, uh, gosh, my nose is a little bit gross. And, uh, we'll look through some of these cards. It's going to be hard for me to, like, show you the cards, because they're small. You're bad at a lot of things. Shut up. Um, so let's get started. Let me switch to this screen. I'm not bad at streaming. I know what the hell I'm doing, so you can't get me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do I still have September on here? Is that on here? Is that on here? Here's one thing that needs to be removed. Can't believe I still have that on here. Sorry for the sw sc sc scene switches. I'm not good at talking. So first up for our Pokemon cards that might be worth something. I don't know. Uh, it is an OG Zapdos. So I don't think I can narrow this down by a lot. Uh, I don't know if I can... Yeah, see, I don't. We're just going to look for Zapdos. Um, I'm going to try to use the uh, the numbers. Here we go. I'm going to use the numbers that are on the bottom. It's kind of like the, uh, the numerical indicator as to what Pokemon that is. So this is number 15 of 62 of the Cosmos Hollow set. Um... Worth about 17 bucks. Not half bad. Not half bad. I know it's really hard to see, but you can kind of get the gist. That's what this is. So, about 17 bucks. Moderately played hollow foil. Market price, 36 bucks. It could be... Now, it's it, apparently it was as high as 37-ish. But now it's tanked. It's down to like 17 or so. Uh, they've recently sold for $34. So, hey, that's a win. Next up, we have Rayquaza, but it is an EX Emerald. Uh, is that going to be on there? Uh, let's see, which one is this? It's Rayquaza. Eh, I'm so bad at this. Rayquaza EX Emerald. See, is that a thing? Is that a thing? We'll find out. Nothing was found. Okay, so it's going to be Rayquaza. What number is that? Number 9 of 106. Is this not a thing? Is this not a real card? 
Certainly looks like a real card. Okay, looks like we got some Googling to do. Which I've already Googled it. That's it right there. Only this one's a little shiny all over the place. PCG player. Rayquaza Emerald. Okay, I don't know what it calls, why it calls it that. Okay, about another $17 one for moderately played. So that's like middle of the road as far as wear and tear are on these. It's about $17 right there. Market price. I don't know what reverse hollow is, like the Pokemon's holographic, but everything else isn't. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't know what reverse hollow looks like, but they've sold recently as of yesterday for $70. Uh, that was for a lightly played reverse hollow, heavily played hollow foil, $9. So anywhere from nine to 17 bucks we've got so far. So I, I, that's a win. This one's probably not going to be much of anything. This is a Suicune. Uh, original reverse hollow is everything hollow, but the Pokemon pick. Okay. So no, this is not a reverse hollow. This is just a Suicune number 27. Just a plain Jane Suicune. Ah, still worth about $9. This is a nice stash. So these are all Pokemon cards that we got from Mama Knight. These were all um, technically my stepsister Taylor's. She didn't want them anymore. Got very into Pokemon and then decided she didn't want it anymore. So now they belong to the boys. And these are some nice ones that we pulled out. Uh, next we have an Entei, but it's a really weird looking one. Entei. It's kind of got one of those weird borders. 10 of 147. It's probably not going to come up with anything. Yeah, I didn't think so. So we'll see if this comes up with multiple. Okay, it's going to be one of those. So we're just going to have to look up Entei and find this one. It's got this one right here. Hey, there we go. Entei from Aquapolis. That sounds like a lightly played can get 36 bucks. Not too shabby. We have some valuable Pokemon cards here. Now, I like to know if I have valuable cards. I, it's the same way with Digimon cards. But I still like to keep them. I, I like to keep them. Unless I know I can get a lot of money for them, I like to keep them. Next is Dark Vaporeon. OG Dark Vaporeon. Not holographic. Oh, sorry, that's Legendary Collection. That's from the newer set. Uh, I'm looking for the OG set. This one. Oh, 22 cents. Buck 95. Hey, Dark Vaporeon. Sorry, you're not really worth much. <laughs> that sucks. I, was, I kind of had high hopes for that one. Dark Gyarados. This is not a, pr this is not a promo. What is this? Number 25. Probably not going to be worth much either. Eh, about five, six bucks. Five, six bucks for a moderately played Dark Gyarados from the Team Rocket collection. Not bad. Not worth a ton of money, but not bad. Uh, next up, we have Brock's Rhydon. Be nice to the Evolution. Okay, to be fair, Vaporeon is my favorite Evolution, and it has always been my favorite EV Evolution. Just saying it's not worth a lot of money. Uh, Brock's right on for the Gym Heroes set. We're about eight bucks. Hard to see on camera thanks to my green screen. So remember, you make any money, you have to buy me a book. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. As it should be. What, Vaporeon should be my favorite? I mean, if they come out with some of the other types that people have like given concept art for, like there was a fighting style Eevee that I saw that I loved, a dragon. A flying. There's a bug one that I like that was really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't honestly plan on selling any of these. I like just collecting them. Vaporeon is the best. I agree. Vaporeon is best, boy. I'm torn between Flareon and Jolteon as my favorite. Yeah, those, I don't know, the original three were just the coolest, but I will say Glaceon is pretty cool, too. Honestly, Leafeon's kind of cool. Next up, we have an original Machamp. These are the Hollow Machamps. I know that if these things are shadowless, they can be worth a lot of money. Um, Machamp, number 8 of 102. 
Fuck 31. I know that if they're shadowless, which shadowless means this the shadow along this border of the frame, if that is gone, Leafeon is close to my favorite tea. Leafeon's pretty cool. I don't know if that's a printing error. If this if the shadow is not here, I don't know if that's a printing error or what. But oh, it's a deck exclusive. That's why it's not worth much. But champs are pretty cool Pokemon though. Uh, but I know that if these come shadowless. They're worth more money. I don't know what that means. To be honest, I have no idea why, why that means that they are that way. Alakazam, same thing. I think Alakazam is also another deck exclusive. This one is... Sheesh, this lighting, I can hardly see it. They put, made them so damn small. This is number one? Dark? No, not dark Alakazam. Ah, dang it. Holy, that'd be worth $21 if I had dark Alakazam. I don't. Oops. Alakazam. Alakazam. Uh, OG hollow set. Shadowless. See? There's no border along the, There's no shadowy border along this. So it's worth more money. I don't know why. Uh, one of 102. Well, 20 bucks. I got like three of these. We've got some monies. Right? Confuse Ray. Yep, this is ex this is it. The base set. Oh wait, no, this is base set two. Worth four dollars. Mine's got the two. It's worth about four bucks. I know I've got a couple more of those in here, so I better just weed those out now. Oh, no, we do have a regular base set one. This, this one doesn't have the two next to it. See how this one has the two with the Pokeball? That is base set two. This one does not have it. Worth about 20 bucks. Uh, I don't know about this one, though. This one has a completely different symbol next to it. I have three different Alakazams. Do I have another one of those? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. I'm going to make that one the last one. So now I have to find Alakazam and see what this one means. Because I don't know what this little symbol means. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, Legendary Collection. Okay. Uh, Bascuzzi? Moderately played? Oh, reverse. Well, nobody's got reverse. Ain't nobody got reverse. Hollow foil market price, 35 bucks. Recently, heavily played for 10 bucks. So, I don't have reverse hollow foil. But for the past year, good lord, they were really expensive for those reverse ones. The regular hollow foils are still, eh. Is there a way for me to, like, pick? No, about 35 bucks. I know on this screen it says four. I don't know why it says four. Oh, 97 listings as low as $4. So when it shows on this screen, it shows the lowest possible, the lowest current listing. Now this thing, it's not in like superb condition. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd call this heavily played or moderately played. See one just sold right there. 25 bucks. Uh, they're going, oh no, this is this is a different one. But anyway, I'm going to put that one in there because I think that one might be worth a little something, something. Next up is Dark Charizard. The original Rocket Dark Charizard. Uh, it is not a hollow, unfortunately. It is just a rare. It's not a hollow rare. As low as 10 bucks, 11 bucks. I'd say that's still the win. Honestly, it's a cool card. I like it. I like the He's not like his skin's not actually dark. It's just he's in a shadow to show that he's been manipulated by Team Rocket. So I like this card. It's a cool looking card. Next up, we have a Raichu GX. I don't know if this is worth anything, really. Uh, where are you at? Eh, 20 cents. It's a promo card. It's only worth 20 cents. Thunderbolt and Sparkball GX. Eh, you know, not a great card. But Milo likes it. It's his card. He's the one that enjoys it the most. Uh, there's another Machamp that's pretty beat up. This is a Charizard EX next. We're just seeing. Let's just see. Charizard EX. Uh, I think it's that one. Is there multiple options for like a holographic one? 
or something? Or are they all just that way? I think they're all just that way. Yeah, a buck. Not really worth much. Plus, here's the kicker. The boys got this one from a swap that they had with their uh, uh, co-op. Pokemon club that they have. So a bunch of kids from their co-op. Uh, this is a fake card. It doesn't even have the TM underneath Pokemon. The TM is missing. This is a fake Pokemon card. So that's a good way to look out for fakes is if you look under the word Pokemon on the back of the card, it should say TM trademark in little teeny white letters. Fakes don't have that for some reason. They haven't been able to figure out how to put that one on there. Uh, next up, we have a really cool reverse hollow Eevee. I think it's reverse hollow. I don't really know if they consider it reverse hollow. What are you? TG 11. I don't know if that comes up with anything. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. EV. Uh, this one right here. Not worth a whole lot, but it's still fun. Everything on it is holographic except for the kid and the Eevee, but it is a very cool card. And it's real. It's not a fake. It's a real one. But yeah, this is a really cool looking card. Brilliant Stars Trainer. See, mine doesn't say that SWH on it, though. Mine says TG11 out of TG30. Is there another one of these like listed that is different? Technically? Like, how do I figure that out? Because it's this card art, but it's. Oh, no, I guess it does say TG11 of TG30. So never mind. Worth about two or three bucks. Honestly, I think it's worth keeping. It's pretty cool. This one's an interesting one. This is the original Entei promo card from the Pokemon movie. Uh, right here. <laughs> 19 cents. Oh, man. Sad day for Entei. 19 cents is the lowest current listing. This one was lightly played, sold for four bucks. I don't even know why people would buy this card, to be completely honest. Uh, next up is a different Charizard. It's an interesting one. Uh, it's, a, it's another one of those weird looking kind of cards. You should look up the Mew card from the first Pokemon movie, Ancient Mew. I've seen them. They're not worth a whole lot of money. Not as much as people seem to think they're worth. What is this, 40? Gosh, they made the letters so small. The, that's fine. Entei sucks anyway. Everybody knows Raikou was better. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these... Oh, look at these. I got a Charizard. Oh, look, I got an original Charizard from my 2020 pack. It's worth $5,000. No, it's not, you idiot. This is a Pokemon from the Legendary Collection, and it's only worth $100. Uh, and this is, let's see, this is base set two original holographic Charizard. It's only worth 60 bucks. This is from the classic collection. This is only worth 60 bucks. People need to stop thinking that Pokemon cards are an investment because they're not. Uh, where is the Charizard I'm looking for? Look at this. Is it even this hollow rare from the base set? It's only worth 80 bucks. People need to stop acting like Pokemon cards are worth something big. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Entei got a movie. Suicune had a crystal version. Raikou kind of got the shit end of the stick. It did, didn't it? Terrible taste in movies, but spot on movie uh, Pokemon takes. Raikou is indeed the best, just like Vaporeon. Right? I, yeah, you know what? I might have bad movie taste in some cases, okay? But as far as Pokemon goes, I know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the cool thing. This is a Charizard from the EX Expedition version. It's Right now, $65. Here's the best part. Uh, I don't, I guess that's one that was damaged, sold for $65. I don't know if this is reverse hollow foil or because, like, I think this is a reverse hollow foil, which means it's worth $219 potentially. But look at the regular hollow foil. The regular hollow foil, so where it's holographic back here in the po Pokemon picture, is worth almost $500. These are actual listings that have sold as of the 4th. 25th of uh, September. 
17, uh, the 11th of September. These are ones that have recently sold. These are hollow foil. Uh, I think this is a reverse hollow foil, but either way, it's worth a little bit of bank. So Charizard strikes again. Uh, next, we have Sabrina's Drowsy. Sabrina's Drowsy. I don't think that's going to be worth really much of anything. Yeah, 19 cents. Sorry, Sabrina's Drowsy. Yeah, Pokemon ain't worth jack. Hate to say it. Ain't worth squat. Uh, Highcask is going to like this one. Dark Slowbro. Uh, let's see. Is this from the Legendary Collection? This is the Legendary Collection. Holographic. Dark Slowbro. Worth about five bucks. Heavily played, worth about five bucks. Uh, if it was a reverse holo, it would be worth about $61. But it's about at least five bucks. So that's Keeper. That's a cool one. You know, look at that. Look at that cloister being all grumpy, angry. Like, I'm going to bite your butt. And he's like, hey, get off my butt. Uh, I don't know why this one's in here. I don't think this is a. This doesn't even look rare. It's just a dual type. Volcarona. I don't think this is really worth anything. It's a dual type Volcarona. Yeah, 15 cents. That's weird. I don't know how this one. I think this one might have ended up in that pile. By mistake. But boy, yeah, I knew you'd like that one. Uh, this is a Lapras GX next. Lapras, for some reason, I always loved Lapras, but I think everybody loved Lapras. People love these rainbow ones, too. Like, oh, I got a rainbow whatever, whatever card. You didn't know it's worth so much money. No, it's not. Uh, this one's pretty cool. It's a it's reverse hollow foil. Full art. Yeah, it's full art. Uh, again, though, here's the kicker. It's a fake card. There's no TM logo underneath Pokemon. So that's probably why this is reverse hollow foil. This one doesn't even have an option for reverse hollow foil. I don't think it came that way. I th well, maybe it did. It looks like it says hollow foil. It just didn't say that up here. So I don't know. Either way, it's only worth about three bucks, but it's a fake Pokemon card, so it's worth nothing. Um. Here's another one. I don't know why I liked this one. Why I liked this one so much. Uh, Skarmory. I love Skarmory. It is one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon. Skarmory EX from the XY base set. Super cool Pokemon. It's steel flying. Um, I've always loved Skarmory. And it's a really cool holographic. Holofoil. Sorry, they like to call it holofoil. I really like that one. Here we have uh, Venusaur. Oh, Ven oh, with a U, sorry. Venusaur from base set two. Uh, this one's a little beat up. This one is a little beat up. So here's Venusaur from base set, about $14. Easy mode. Yeah, it's easy mode. Uh, base set shadowless, $54. I don't know why. Legendary Collection, $24. Yeah, base set two. As low as $14. It's still worth a little something. I think I could possibly clean up the stuff on the back, but it looks like it definitely got a little damp. There's a little bit of damage along the bottom. So, eh, you know, it could be worth something to the right person. If they're desperate for one, they'll take it. Uh, next up, we have Kingdra. Easy mode or arguably best choice. Okay, full disclosure, 100% being vulnerable here. Oops, I forgot a letter there. Uh, when I originally played Pokemon Blue, I picked Bulbasaur. My very first ever Pokemon run was Bulbasaur. Okay, so we have Neo Genesis Kingdra. Not to be confused with Neon Genesis Evangelion, the greatest, like, philosophically questioning anime. TV show slash movies about mechs ever. Uh, Kingdra, hollow foil, eh, pretty cool card. Not really worth a lot. About six bucks. Kind of cool. But yeah, uh, Bulbasaur is easy mode. I think they technically consider it easy mode, even though that doesn't make any sense because it is not super effective against Brock's team. It's not super effective against Misty's team. It's not super effective against 
freaking uh Surge's team. It is it is weak to Blaine's team. So I don't know. Charmander isn't really super effective against Brock and it's weak against Misty, so it's you're gonna have a hard time right from the get-go, but either way. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's the most neutral choice, I think. That's why they consider it that. Squirtle, easy mode. You take out Brock, super easy. I wanted to pick Squirtle, but chose Bulbasaur instead because uh, one of my friends picked the turtle. Oh, well, that's fair. And it always sucked that no matter what you picked, your rival will pick. What? Vine Whip dominates the first two gyms? I suppose. But it's not like super effective against anything. Um, next up, we do actually have a Bulbasaur. Uh, this is another one of those weird ones. It's got that weird border like that last Charizard did, like this border. But it's not that one. It is this little guy. Isn't he cute? Reverse Hollow Foil, which is what this is, which seems to be the norm. Could be worth 40, 48 bucks. Near Mint, 10 bucks. I mean, it's still worth a bit of money. Damaged it sold for two ninety nine. So that's a neat little card. I know you can't see most of it because most of it's green and my green screen's blocking it out. Okay, we are now on to the ones that were put into sleeves. I don't know why some of these were put into sleeves. Uh, we got Entei V. I don't know if it's going to be worth anything. Ah, 49 cents. Entei gets snubbed again. How sad is that? Man, Entei is just getting screwed. Nobody wants Entei on their Pokemon TCG team. I mean, it's kind of a cool card. It's full art. It's holographic in some places. It's cool, but it just ain't worth anything. Just like I think this next one isn't going to be worth anything either. Le Leopard? Leopard? V? Yeah, again, cool looking card. Kind of holographic in some places. Just worthless. Uh, I think this next one's going to be kind of the same way, unfortunately. Because it's Flygon V. We got all these V cards. Yeah, 30 cents. Same sort of thing. Entei is bad in the TCG and the in the game it was introduced in. Yeah, nobody picked Entei. He looks weird. To be honest, he's got a freaking like walrus mustache he looks like he belongs in orange county choppers yelling at somebody to get the motorcycle done and yeah he's bad and uh we got fly gone it looks like he's wearing his own pair of goggles because he's a fly but he's a dragon type explain that to me called fly gone looks like a fly is a dragon okay the next one is a really interesting one <laughs> Xerneas Break. It's sideways. It's sideways. And it's not worth a lot of money. Polly, yeah. The meme about them throwing chairs at each other and arguing back and forth. Xerneas Break. A uh, really interesting card because it plays sideways. I don't know why. Steam Siege. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know anything about that set. Kind of a garbage card though. I mean, it kind of sucks. Life stream. This attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Well, I don't know how normal people play Pokemon, but I usually only have energy attached to the Pokemon in play. Now, if I knew that I was going to be playing this card, obviously I would load him up with fairy energy and then start loading my bench Pokemon up with energy as well. So it does extra damage, but whatever. All right, finally, we have another Charizard. But this is an interesting one. It's Charizard from the Legendary Collection. But it's all sparkly. Like, all over. I, I don't even know, because this is XY Evolutions. It's obviously not that one. Uh, it's not a base set. I think this is considered that legendary collection. There's the classic collection. Oh, that's an interesting one. I didn't know that before. It has the Pikachu uh, symbol on it. I didn't notice that. Uh, let's see. Where is he? 
base set XY evolutions. This was the one everyone would freak out about if they got one. The XY evolutions. They were just like, oh my gosh, I got it. It's worth $5,000. And it's not. It ain't worth much of anything. Blaine's Charizard. That'd be a cool one to have. Okay, where is this Charizard? Where are you? Base chest. Base. 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 Third row, go back. Oops. I don't know why I just clicked the one. No, it's none of those. No, it's not that. Page one? Did I seriously scroll right past it? Third row. No, it's none of these. Unless you're meaning this one. This is the classic collection. Legendary collection. Yeah, there you go. The weird thing about this card is it's sparkly all over. Even damaged, it sold for $30. I just don't... I mean, this, that's it? That's it. But the weird thing is, it's got, it's literally sparkly. It's reverse hollow foil, basically. Everything around it has got that sparkly bit. Everything except for the picture. And I thought I had found this one somewhere. Hang on. Let me, let me shine my phone light on it so I can actually see the damn numbers. Because they're so small. Hang on. Number three out of 10. Now, was that one level, number three out of 10? Yeah, it's number three. I mean, that's it. That, that's it. 110 bucks damaged recently. But this baby is in like perfect condition. This one I might actually look into selling because it's worth a lot of money. It is an OG Charizard. It is, and it's got it's literally got that rainbowy sparkly bit around the entire card except for the picture. So it's a reverse hollow foil or reverse whatever you want to call it. It's all sparkly and shiny. But it is uh I mean it's worth a lot of money. But that's it. That's this is the card. It's like an original Charizard. Number three. From the Legendary Collection. I have that one right here. Top of the pile. That one's worth selling. The rest of these, unfortunately, are not worth selling. If anybody's interested in buying this Charizard, let me know. I'll make you a deal. It is in near mint condition, at least to my eyes. It doesn't have any kind of damage to it whatsoever. So. That's all the cards I have. Um, that's all I got for Pokemon. I wonder how many of those there are. So it's number three. It's not a deck exclusive. At least I don't think, because that's also what it looks like. It looks just like that one. Is it three out of 110? It's so hard to read it with the stupid sparkly bit all over it. Three out of 110. Oops. Well, now it's not even showing. Page one. I don't know. I don't know. It's worth something. It's worth something to somebody. Legendary. Okay, yeah, hollow rare. Yeah, three out of 110. I don't know how you know if it's uh, from the... See, this says 2002. Is that what mine is? Yeah, the 2002. So, it's worth some money. If anybody is a Pokemon card collector out there that Wants well, a cool Charizard. I got it. Hollow foil price, 300. I don't know how they're dictating that, because, like, I don't know when this was. Well, this is currently one that they, are, that they have listed. 
Can you guys stop gambling? Mama's over here winning, even though every time Mama loses, she claims it's rigged. But then when she turns around and wins a thousand, whatever. And then Razzlo always loses everything. Non hollow. See, non hollow, look at it, it's all damaged. It's still sold for 30 bucks. Uh, lightly played hollow foil. See, this one, I, it doesn't look holographic to me at all. But that sold for $220. Near mint hollow foil, $350. These are worth at least. High cask over here winning. Dixie lands over here screaming, stop gambling. Uh, moderately played reverse hollow foil. Yes, this is what mine looks like. This is exactly what mine looks like. It's got like the little fireworks that come out of it. Moderately played, sold for $733 on August 19th. From Woody's Weeb World, everybody. Go to Woody's Weeb World. Check them out. $733 for a reverse hollow foil. How much? Let's see. Reverse hollow foil, near mint. Let's just see. No sales data. What? What do you mean? Sold as a listing. What? what, 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 what. Listing all types. Let's do lightly played, moderately played. Weeb World, yeah, right? That's the only one that's ever sold on here, and it's sold for $733. I'm sitting on a small fortune with that card. <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. It was Woody's Weeb World right here. Moderately played, reverse hollow foil. I bet if I sent that in to get graded, it'd be worth a lot of money. From Woody's Weeb World, 100% sales, so they are good on this website. 159 sales. Some minor edgeware and backwear might be in better condition than moderately played, but they still sold it for $733. So that's really cool. We kind of stumbled on some kind of really, really cool cards. I really still wish that some of those Digimon cards I got were worth more money. I still wouldn't trade them even if they were, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to keep those. So for now, we have two choices. I can get back into the Lords of the Fallen and uh, continue to play that, or I could go through the book. Um, for those that did not see it at the beginning of the stream, Mama Knight bought me this book from Barnes & Noble. It is a really good little book. It's, it's literally a picture book for kids, okay? Calm down. I know that. I know that I'm 32 years old, almost 33 years old, and I'm still reading little books about owls that want to become knights. Shut up. But it's a good book. It's a good book. It's a good book. So we could read that, or uh, we could jump into the game and read that another time. What does chat, what doth chat want to do? See if I can do something. Uh, let's, let's do something cool. Start a poll. There. We'll start a poll. Do you want me to read the book or do you want me to play the game? Vote. Vote now. Uh, wake up. 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 I didn't hear any of those. Because you guys are haters. Uh-oh, Coco's calling me. Hang on. Go to mute.
Yeah, my phone didn't want to hang up. All right. You know my vote. Okay, so it looks like the, the vote went for the book. Why is it literally opening that up? Okay. So we're going to read this book. I did pull up a little YouTube video because I want to show you the pictures of the book, but I don't want to just like sit here and keep holding it up because that's really hard to see. So I did bring up a read along of the book. Uh, so we could see the pages. All right. Settle in with your cozy drinks. Heroes, adventurers, and all types of folk. Because we're about to get into Night Owl by Christopher Denise. I like this book. I actually stood there in a Barnes and Noble and read it to myself in the middle of the store. And uh, yes. Okay, so this is Night Owl. I do have this video muted. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay, you know what? Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. Okay, this is Night Owl. Any cute? All right. We're going to get onto it. Let's get into it, lady. All right. Night Owl by Christopher Denise. Since the day he hatched, Owl had one wish. To be a knight. Look at him there. I do like the art in these books. I do like the art. Every morning before he drifted off to sleep, he imagined himself as a real knight. He would be brave, he would be clever, and he would have many friends. It was just a dream, until one day. Knights began disappearing from the castle, so Owl applied to night school. And to everyone's surprise, he was accepted. Knighthood in just two weeks. Apply today. Live a life of honor and adventure. Gotta love these flyers. It's just like trying to recruit people to go to like your college. Um. Owl was an excellent student, but he had a tough time with a sword. Even the smallest shield was a problem, and he had a habit of nodding off during the day. Yeah, the artwork is done by a guy that also did illustrations for the Redwall series. Let's get to the next page. Night school was hard, but Owl worked and worked. He graduated with honor, as all knights do. Owl was assigned to the Night Night Watch. Get it? The Night Night Watch. He was very good at his job. The other knights usually fell asleep during the long night night watch, but Owl didn't mind. All alone on the castle wall, he finally felt like a real knight. Until late one evening, it was very dark and very, very quiet. I love the way he's roasting marshmallows on the tip of his spear. Like, yep, that's totally fine. Your spear's not going to burn up and the head's going to fall off. Owl heard a strange sound. <laughs> It sounded like a huge flapping, a huge bird flapping its wings. Ooh, called Owl. Owl called. He heard the sound again. Ooh, he called. Ooh, clearly he's scared. Now here comes the fun voice acting parts. Who me? said a deep voice. Who you? asked Owl. I am a hungry dragon, said the dragon. Owl was very afraid, but because he was now a real knight and knights are brave, he puffed out his feathers and said, I am Nile. Uh, I, I am Owl. I can't talk tonight. I am Owl. I am a knight of the Night Watch. Skip to the next page. You don't look like a knight, said the dragon. You look like a midnight snack. Owl's feathers trembled. But because he was a real knight and knights are clever, he said, You don't want me. I'm too small. Hardly even a mouthful. A mouthful is enough, snarled the dragon. I am all feathers and fluff, said Owl. A great dragon like you needs something tastier and more filling. How about a pizza instead? 
Oven Fresh Pizza, Squires. Kingdom Wide Delivery, Hot and Delicious. It turned out that the dragon loved pizza. They talked about how each of them had hatched from eggs, how much they liked the night, and how flying was hard to explain to someone who had never done it before. They really had a lot in common. The following week, not a single night disappeared. Or the week after that. And every night, Owl patrolled the walls. It was very dark and very, very quiet. But Owl didn't mind because he was brave, he was clever, and he had many friends. The end. He's got the dragon, there's old baby dragons all around, there's knights, there's pizza. In the end, he got a lot, he got everything he wanted. The end. What'd you think? It is an adorable story. I love it. And they even had little night owl plushies at the at Barnes and Noble. So I might have to get one of those to add to my plushie collection, which right now just consists of a Zergling and Toto dial. I got to add to that. I need a Cyndaquil. <sighs> okay. So that was night owl by Christopher Denise. You can pick it up at Barnes and Noble. I like it. It's really cool. Uh, it's very, I don't know. I always wanted to be a knight as a kid growing up too. What kid doesn't grow up, you know, reading about knights. I didn't see the plushies. Yeah, they had them at our Barnes and Noble. Uh, but you know, like what kid doesn't grow up reading about knights and then you know, all the, in fantasy books and be like, man, I want to be a dragon or I want to be a dragon. I mean, kids want to be dragons too. But like what kid doesn't want to grow up and be a knight when they read a story like that? You know, they, they read all these old tales. You know, King Arthur, Knights of the Round Table kind of stuff. So, I I resonate with that story because I very what very much would still like to become a knight. That's why I I'm, I'm going to be adding more armor to my collection. So yeah, that's the story. That's the story. So we're gonna go ahead and get into, uh, not Dark Souls. Uh, where are you, Lord? Uh, it's in alphabetical order. I wish I could, uh, order this to, like, my games that are installed. Oh, installed locally. There we go. I can do that. Or at least, like, organize them that way, you know? I guess I could always do that. Anyway, we're going to get into Lords of the Fallen. Uh, we're going to get into the game we actually came here to play. I better plug my controller in. It was just acting like... It's just acting like it uh, didn't want to turn on, so that concerns me. I'd hate to be in the middle of a boss fight and my controller dies. You know, not that that's ever happened to me before. That's never, ever, ever been a thing where I've died in Dark Souls or something because my controller died. Like, wired controllers are great because they never die. So I will give them that. They never die unless they, like, physically are broken in some capacity. But other than that, other than that, we, uh, we like our wireless controllers. <laughs> I like the freedom of the wireless controllers. NVIDIA, the way it's meant to be played. Alienware, best play on Alienware. It's weird that this game has so many big name sponsors and it's such a bad game. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Wait for the game to catch up here. Continue. We are on this one. We are the executioner. I did start a rogue. It's not hard to level up in this game. It's really not. I have an hour of playtime on that one. Wow. What, was that a month ago? No, the, the date's backwards. It was on the 7th that I played this, but the 8th was the last time I played this. Okay, that confused the hell out of me. Um, So we were we were uh, at a boss fight, which I don't think I'm quite strong enough to take that boss out like without a lot of struggle. So I am going to work on leveling up my boy. I just can't decide if I want to go with this weapon or a different one. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. 
My bad. Uh, I can't remember. This weapon does so far have the best damage, but it's also really slow. Uh, this one has that stupid extra swing speed timer. But this one, so far, I've had the easiest time with. Because it's just a regular little short sword. And I haven't... It's just easier to use. I feel like I should investigate more, too. But then again, I've already kind of investigated this whole place. Slice him open! Slice his face off. I've still not been able to kill this guy. Or did I? Did I kill this guy before? No, I, I ran into here. And, uh, jumped back down, so he didn't get me. I still haven't been able to figure out how to open that chest over there, though. Or did I kill this guy? Because I thought that killing that guy would unlock that chest, and it does not. Uh, I know. Why do I keep... I'm, I'm so used to Dark Souls right now. I keep hitting that button, because I think that's my sprint button. But it is, in fact... Not. It's the magic use button. Crap. You missed. Missed me, missed me. Now you gotta... Oh, no, I don't want you to kiss me. I know what your kisses are like. Come get me, baby. Oh, that's right. He'll heal. He cheats. Oh, come on. <laughs> I like how I just like button spam, spam that one. You don't mean that. Ow! Jerk. There we go. 416 experience. Not too shabby. I can't cor I can't loot his corpse though. So now I've got to try this little arena up here. I, I've got to try clearing it out. Oh, I forgot about this guy. This weapon takes up so much less stamina, though. I can swing at this guy. Just keep going. Ow, he staggers me so easily, though. Hey! Get back here. Oh, I didn't know it would do that. It slowed down. Did you hear that? Ooh. That was cool. I like this game. Got like really cool dynamic fighting. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm just totally pulling that one out of my butt. But uh, that was cool. The bad guys in this game are kind of oblivious. Ow! Oh, I didn't do it that time. That would have been too cool, I guess. I need to kill these guys. That one see me? I need one of them to see me so I can try to come get me. I can see the health bar on that one. Does that mean it sees me? Okay, that one sees me. 
Does that big boy see me? No, he doesn't see me. So, I think I'm good. I just gotta, like, lure this one over and I gotta beat it up. I just gotta beat it up a little bit. Just gotta tenderize it. Come here, baby. You missed. It's because you suck. You suck real bad. Oh, you missed again. Poor little baby wanna shoot me. Come and get me. Come and Oh, God. They got me. Come and get me. Come and get me. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Got hair in my mouth. Come on. Come on. Come on. What you got? What you got? Let's go. Yeah, that's right. Throw a tantrum. <laughs> you missed because you suck. Whoop. Ah, you missed again. Proof that you suck. Your fire breath can't even reach me. Your stanky breath. You missed. Oh, you didn't even get a chance to try to heal yourself. You are shameful. Sad excuse for a demon. Now I gotta deal with this guy. But luckily... I get to do it... Kind of, uh... Alone. I guess you could say. I don't have to worry about anybody else interfering. Except damn his punches hurt, man. Oh, that's right. I forgot he had a healing potion. Ah, crap. Coco's calling me. Hang on. I might need to go. Hang on. I'm going to need to take, uh, go upstairs real quick. She needs lead, like not lead in the house, but I got to like make sure she gets in the house. Okay. So I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. She's back in the, in the house. I didn't say this earlier. I might not be on the whole time tonight because it is her birthday and you know she just got home from doing a thing. Um, so I probably get off early tonight, to be honest. Hi. Everybody say happy birthday. I know. It's always been warm. The vent's like not even all the way open, so it's like partially open. You throw this over. There. It's glitchy. I was wondering. Yeah, no cameras over there. I know. Camera one. Since you can't talk to them. Only like... the only camera, camera one. Yes, yeah, everybody, happy birthday, Coco. <laughs> we made a good breakfast this morning. Uh, strawberry ch strawberry cheesecake waffles. I almost forgot what I was saying <laughs> while saying. Strawberry cheesecake waffles, hung out. And bacon. And bacon and eggs. It was it was good. And then uh just went to the women's coffee house. Mm -hmm. You wanna explain that so everybody knows what it was that you were doing? Yeah. Um so every year our church puts on um it's actually like two nights, so you sign up for one or the other. Um but it's an event. And I don't think you know what it is, do you? Jay? I don't. I have no idea <laughs> what it actually is. Um, Guys don't go, so we have no idea what it is. It's a no. women's it's coffee a house. It's a secret no, meeting of a secret. coven of witches. Um, no, it's just um, a time that we get together with our groups. Like, we went out to dinner first. Um, and there's speakers that are just women from the church. Um and uh, there's usually a topic. This this year was super exciting. It was suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, so, everybody. Like, we're here to talk about oh, suffering. And we're going to have a good time yeah. while we talk about suffering. <laughs> we did have a good time. But um, there were there were definitely tears. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think all good women's events have both crying and laughing, right? It's not like a requirement. And sometimes crying while laughing. And sometimes, sometimes laughing while other people are crying. No. Um. Yes. Yep, and we ate good food, and we had lots of snacks and drinks. And yeah, and I great. had a, I stole a lemon bar out of her box of goodies. Yeah. Oh, they gave us little boxes, and it was jammed full of goodies, and then we, I. That's went, the box of I, goodies I yeah. was just talking about. I stole and, a lemon bar out of but it. But then there were piles, like piles, of goodies. Like literal to piles. To refill your box with. Oh, nice. So they had all kinds of yummy treats, and then there was literal boxes to put your treats in to go, but there was mountains. Thank you. All right. So you had fun? Yeah. Okay. Now you get to pick a movie for us to watch. Right. What? I don't know. For later. Dude, we are still young, and we can still watch movies at 10 o'clock at night. I'm 32, and so are you. That's still young. <laughs> Clean to your youth, people. Yeah. Oh. Is that a cat? <laughs> Toma and I kind of had a little bit of a... It's probably Toma trying to get in here. We, I'm old and weak? Yeah, you are old and weak. No, we kind of had a little... Uh, what, do, what do you want to call it? A tiff. He was up on top of the hutch, way up high. I went to pet him, and apparently he didn't want to be petted. <gasps> So he started getting a little grabby with his claws, and then I started messing with it more. He does. Like, both of them. I started messing with him, and then he got mad at me, and now we're cool. So he wants in here. All right. My leggings are getting itchy. Well, if you need to go get into comfy clothes. Um, This is, like, actually quite comfy. I have itchy leggings. Yeah. This is called comfort. Well, it looks fashion. comfy. Okay, then. <laughs> It smells like thrift store, though. It smells <laughs> like thrift store. What does that even mean? Um, I just outed myself as wearing thrift store clothes. Um, oh. As soon as I buy them. No. What's this item? Them. Lurker's Thrust Greatsword. Ooh. Hello. Did you read your book? Yeah. I had to find a YouTube video. Oh, and you did your book. I missed everything. 
Did you so, this? yes. Yeah. We have. What? We found a listing on that TCG player website. There was only one of this exact card because there were versions of this card that are you sure this is real? Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, I assume because we do have a history of. Yeah, it's got the TM on it. We actually have two fake ones in here uh, in that pile. They They don't have the TM on the back. Oh, so anyway, uh, there's a Lapras. Oh, it's a it's pretty cool looking card, but it's fake. (laughs) So anyway. So this Charizard, we found a listing. Oh, I knew that was fake. We found a listing. Okay. For this card, because a lot of these don't actually have the how it's all shiny and sparkly on the on the outside. Oh, that I one. Knew those, I knew those were both fake. Sorry, I didn't see that one. Um, there's a only one, for the one with all the sparkly around here, but nothing. It's called Reverse Hollow. Okay. And it was considered moderately played, so it had a little bit of wear and tear on it. Guess how much it sold for? Two hundred and fifty. Five hundred. No. One thousand. No. Am I going the wrong way? Well, <laughs> you are now. Seven hundred. Seven hundred and thirty-three dollars. A confirmed sale of yeah. this. In it, in the sale, you all saw it. Included a picture, so I can see and confirm. It's got these little like firework explosions around it, but no holographic or shiny bit on the actual Pokemon image. This exact card. Same series, same See, this number. is one of those things, though. Some of these like, are worth, like, 16, 17, 18 bucks. This one was worth maybe, like, 65. Charizard, man. Yeah. Um, this one's worth nothing, even if it was legit. The fake Charizard. Yeah. Oh, we, even if it was legit? Yeah, even if it was legit, it's not worth oh, much. Oh, I don't feel as bad about it, then. I was like, guys, we really shouldn't All have right. fake cards. Um, that makes you, like, say, do you sell something and... Like, allow your kids to have the money. Well, I mean, it came it came from my mom. Right. Um, so, if anything, if we sell it, it would probably be a fair deal. She said if we make oh, any money okay. to I buy her know. a book. <laughs> oh, that's super fair. So, we have to buy her a book. Oh, yeah. I, I remember that conversation now. But, um, or do you keep it knowing that it might not, and, and you know... It might Whatever. get destroyed. Well, it might get destroyed, or it, I mean, it could be like Beanie Babies, and someday it's worth nothing. Yeah, that's that's but, true. Like the kids don't care about the value of the card. Right, but that one's worth like a good amount of money. Right. So I think that one we should try to sell. Uh, if anybody in chat disagrees, go ahead and let me know. Um, we should try to sell it. It's worth like more. Right. Probably only going to go down in value. Have its heyday. Um, I think it should be something that we sell. We is buy. Bulbasaur? I love this Bulbasaur. Yeah, it's, it's worth so like, you know, five, six bucks. Oh, well, we should let the kids have that then. No problem. But I, I say we should try to sell that Charizard, get as much out of it as we can. This is real? I thought this was fake. Oh, yeah, it's real. It kinda... TM and everything. It's not worth much. Still, it's only worth like oh. a couple bucks. But we should try to sell it. Buy Mama a book. A nice book. A real nice book. Oh, how did I miss this lever before? I'm blind. Now I can at least... This is a shortcut. Uh, Buy Mama a book, and then we should try to buy something for the house that, like, everybody could benefit from. Mm -hmm. Like, try to find a nice kitchen island or something, or something cool. Are they actually hurting each other down there? I mean, if so, that's cool. They should... Uh, this is the 2016 Lords of the Fallen. It's the one that there is a new one coming out I next like year. I needs to gird up his loins. He's got a lot of... Well, he's wearing a medium armor set right now, but it was just better than what I was wearing. I just mean, like, that's a lot of skirt for a uh, fight. Well, it's a medium, medium armor. We're reading Oh, I progress. finally found my own... Oh, I finally found a ring. My hair got stuck in the chair. Read armor. Oh. Uh, we were reading Pilgrim's Progress, and the char- the main character talked about him girding up his loins, and I thought it was really funny. I don't know why I thought it was funny. Uh. Hair clip for pet. Armor 72. It doesn't do anything. Greed is a powerful emotion that fuels Ooh, for only a brief second. Hair. Can't smell anything. Try. 
His nose no work. Ah, uh, my nose doesn't work. It's broken. Uh, those who seek its aid have to be aware of its consequences. But what does it do? Just says armor. Trinket. It doesn't do anything. Anyway. Oh, jeez. Sir? Oh, yeah. Get some, boy. You think that's going to affect me? Oh, yeah. That's going to affect me a lot. I should have known better. Uh, mistakes were made. You know? Now I've got to run all the way back from that first crystal that I was at. You know how you don't, or how you know that I don't wear makeup, like, ever? Ah. Um, my mascara, or I had two mascaras. Luckily, one was fine. The uh -huh. other one I think I've used, like, four times, and it was completely dry. Wait, I told uh, you that, didn't No. No? It was, like, disgusting. Oh. Well, that's not good. I was thinking, like, uh, salons and stuff, and uh, I remember Mary Kay used to have them. They have, like, sample uh, mascaras that, like, have, that they're, like, little teeny tiny tubes. Uh-huh. I wonder if that would be something I could just, like, buy cost effectively. Because I never use it. Maybe. Slice him open. Slice his face off. How is he still alive? What are these ones? Those are just the ones that aren't worth really anything. Oh, all of those ones were worth something? Yeah, they were worth at least like five, six I, bucks, you I know. I was interested in this one because I had no idea. I'd never seen anything like this great card. That's like a specific thing, right? I don't know. It's pretty much worthless. Well, because I think they come from maybe... Oh, look, he has 150 HP. Not worthless to play with. I mean, that's really not a lot anymore. That's because it's ridiculous. Flygon has 220. Yeah, we were looking through some of their old cards and like Zapdos... Is that how you say that? Zapdos. Zapdos had like 80. Yeah. The <laughs> old Pokemon cards, you could tell there was a definite power creep. And, uh. Okay, even like. Yeah, the old cards definitely are not. This Entei? Worth really older. much anything. What year is this? That's the promo this card. Is 2001. And this has 80. Yep. And this one is 2022. Wait, this is real? I thought this was fake. Um, has... Zapados. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Zapados of that stuff in me, man. I didn't know anything about Pokemon until two years ago. Facts. So I think I'm doing okay. Man, I'm really... I'm really jonesing, man. Zapados in me, man. I would Have you ever seen when people do those videos of them trying to name Pokemon? Yeah, like people, do that. people who don't know Pokemon naming Pokemon. I just wonder how well I can do. I knew this was pronounced Entei. I feel like that's... How else would you pronounce it? Entia. Entia? Entii. <laughs> Entai. Okay, I guess you would probably pronounce it Entei. <laughs> yeah, it's the only way that, like, logically makes any sense. You make logical sense. I know I make logical sense. I'm a very intelligent and educated person. That song did not play tonight. I don't know why that's in my head. I don't know. I don't know how to say this. Leopard? I don't really know how to pronounce that one. Leopard? Leopard. Lapoleon. I made that up. It sounds like a name. This Eevee? I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, it's not really worth much, but it is a cool card. And we came to the conclusion, I think, chat, you can you can uh, agree or disagree with this. I have bad taste in movies, but good taste in Pokemon. Why? Because apparently, Razzle and Highcast think I have terrible taste in movies because I like the Mario Brothers movies right. from the 90s. But they agree that I, that I like Vaporeon. Is like one of the coolest What's evolutions, Eevee? or Leafeon or Glaceon. What if what if Eevee's just my favorite Eevee? Eevee can be your favorite evolution. It's not an evolution. Because I'm a basic. Yeah. Um, really not. And <laughs> that Raikou is the best of the legendary dogs. The dogs are Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. 
Go in. Those are from the same. Yeah. I thought Entei was newer. Nope. Entei is Gen 2. Really? He is old. See, I, I still don't know. Okay. I am here to educate you. I know the things that the kids care about, which is... Oh my gosh, they're frustrating me so badly when we're giving out Pokemon cards. Because, like, first of all, things that we had a lot of, I just divided evenly amongst them. Yeah. So, like, we'd have, you know, 20 Meowths. So everybody... Holy got, crap, well, he's sucking the health out of me. We probably had, like, 15 Meowths. So they each had, like, at least five Meowths. Jeez. But then there were two left over after not being divvied out evenly. So I put them in with all of the other ones to um, to divvy. To divvy. We got a divvy. So Have like, you guys ever divvied before? Divvy. Um, they picked, like, Meowth before, like, I'm trying to think of one of the cool normals that I had to be like, is anybody going to grab that? Um... But yeah, I mean, like, super basic. Nobody cares about Pokemon. And they were picking them before, like, legendaries and stuff. Yeah. I, I, I've come to the conclusion that kids, unless they, like, really play Pokemon, don't care about our Pokemon kids. cards. They just pick whichever ones they like, even if it's not, like, the cool card. Like, our kids like cute stuff, so, of course, they're always going to pick a cute card. Yeah, Link, if they look like a cat or a dog, he's in. Yep, that is a fact. He got really mad at me because I said that Ponita and uh, Rapidash were not the same. <laughs> they're not the same. He goes, it's just the baby. And he wanted to put them in a pile together. I'm like, they're not the same Pokemon. Can't put them together. I mean, really, if you think about it, are any Pokemon evolutions really anything other than the adult forms of that but Pokemon? that's not how it works. They're like literally basically a new creation. They're like new personalities and everything. Right? Um, not necessarily. Oh, jerk. How am I supposed to kill that guy? Oh, joke's on you. You're not! Also, the Pokemon show has gotten way more annoying with time. Oh, I'm sure. First season's fine. I'll watch first season. But, uh, boys were watching one of the newer seasons, like, last week. Like, what are you watching? This is super annoying. Came over and it's Pokemon. Oh. Uh. But, uh, Jake, how do, I, how do I feel about anime voices? You hate them. <laughs> Dude, seriously, Probably what? Not. What even is this thing? Opinion on a stream, is it? Um, I mean, <laughs> honestly, the way that people portray characters in anime, yeah, they do. Their That's voices so are, like, purposefully weird. It's almost a little creepy, it especially is. when they're girls. It's because, uh... Infant, and then the, like, what's that thing about, like, is it anime or is it? Like, uh, I don't know. It's, it'll do like voices. Oh, I don't know. And like that's really bothersome. Yeah. If you okay, so I guess a good guideline is if you can listen to this in the other room with the volume up and people don't come running because they think you're watching porn, then it's just an anime. Why would people come running? Because I'd be like, what are you watching? <laughs> I guess I would. I'd be like, excuse me? <laughs> yeah. But like, if if you aren't comfortable listening to an anime with the volume up and no headphones in, yeah, yeah I should probably, uh, probably question that. Yeah, it's always really tempting. There's that big guy. Uh, it's not really tempting because everybody did that. Except I always did it on the side of my finger. I know, but I'm an adult. All right. <laughs> so what? I'm 32 years old. <laughs> I'm 32 years old. I still do this. See, you don't want to do it. Well, it was just weird. You're just did like chomping. You? Are you tempted? You, no, I'm not. not tempted, no, see? no, I'm not tempted. It's weird. You're weird. Exactly. Can I get behind this big chungus? Probably not. He's not even looking at me. I'm just like scratching my Is face. That a villain? That's a bad guy, and he's very, very big, and he has a very big shield. He, uh, oh, hello. Holy crap. What? I like knocked myself out there for a second. Huh? I exerted myself. 
Oh, he must have actually got the shield bash. Yeah. Doesn't have very much life considering that he's using a giant shield. Well, I got lucky got those hits behind his shield. Oh. There we go. I've never killed one of those guys before. So I'm kind of I'm kind of happy about that. Now if I could just kill the magic guy. Which I think I can sneak up on him. Pull your hat. It looks good on you. You gonna steal the other one too? Yeah, this one doesn't look good on me. Coco's stealing all my red. hats. Somebody this, buy me a new hat. Ooh, this is soft. I like the feel of this one, but red is. Wait, not my what? Color. What the heck was that? You know what Tucker said to me before I went out today? What? He said, why do you always do this when you go places? I was like, do what? <laughs> said, do your makeup that way. Wow. And I was like. Kids I, are brutally honest. I already was like, my skin looks bad. I don't like wearing foundation. I don't know how to do makeup. So I was already feeling self-conscious. And then have your eight-year-old come after you <laughs> like that. Mom, why do you do that? So I was like, what What about it? Are you wondering why I do it that way? He's like, we always put that black stuff on your on your eyelashes. I'm like, mascara? But I had a key. Everybody who wears makeup with mascara on their eyelashes. Ancient plate quest item. And he's like, and you like do that stuff on your <laughs> eyelids, uh... but like always the same color. I'm it's like, like, boy, it's because it looks good. Shut up. Brown? It's because, like, I don't know if he wants me to wear clown makeup occasionally or what. Like, or, like, bright colors. And then, and then he started picking up my outfit. Uh, he's... And was like, and you always wear that red sweater. I'm like, I just bought this today. <laughs> I've never <laughs> worn this before. Like, we always wear a red shirt. I Kids are brutally honest. No red shirts. And this isn't even red. This is orange, but whatever. So. My sweet boy is not so sweet today. Your sweet boy is one hell of a critic. Yeah. It's just how it is. It's how kids are. There's nothing more humbling than a child expressing their honest opinion about what you look like. I mean, in his defense... If, if you ever want somebody humbled... Like, if somebody's acting like an arrogant jerk, just go introduce them to, like, an eight-year-old. I think, like, in his defense, he is not used to me wearing makeup at all. So, like, to him, this is not my face. What's wrong with red now? Uh, I don't know. Tucker's What's wrong being a... with red is that my cheeks are red, and red makes my cheeks look even more Oh, red. hi, doggies. Okay, he's dead. Oh, that doggie's almost dead. Free one. Doggie. Oh, this doggie's almost dead, too. Freebie. Thank you. <laughs> That's kind of the nice part about letting NPCs fight each other before you can get to them. They just about kill themselves. Can I go down there? No, I can't go down there. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. I need to start my quilt. Uh, okay. And I need to get the rest of the garage cleaned out. What are you going to do? I don't know. Anybody want a big metal desk that's mostly not there? Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> much disassembled. I should have grabbed that old man who kept oh, trying to take stuff locked. out of our trash. And asked him to come into our garage. Yeah. You want any of this stuff? He would, too. He takes scrap metal. I mean, honestly, scrap metal is kind of a good money market right I now. I think if we just bring it out to the curb, it'll be gone. Here's oh, people are like, oh, that's a lot of scrap. That's like a lot of yeah. scrap. Makes me think we really should have done something with it. Eh. Too much of a hassle. Yeah. Okay, so what's down here? Anything? Is there anything down here? Really? Armchair? Anybody want an armchair? I realize I'm only talking to two people who live here that don't want an armchair. Uh, okay. So, nothing out that way. Okay, so... I guess I just have to continue the way I was going. Oh, hi, big boy. Hiya, big fella. Ow! Not you. Not Haya to you. Stupid jerk. Damn it. Damn it. Quit messing. I'm gonna get
get me killed. Oh. Wow, that's rude. That's my feet on your desk. That's what is with you tonight? You go to a ladies' coffee house thing yeah, and you come so back acting really like you like, own the world. What do you guys talk about there? Suffering. You are all queens and everybody should bow down before you. No. I hope Definitely not. Definitely not. That would just be rude to everyone else. I wish I could get that door open over there. Pretty much. Life sucks and it's okay. I mean, that's... That's facts. <laughs> Life right now just kind of sucks for everybody. But, eh, it's part of life. Or I wish I could figure out how to open this. Whatever this is. There's a treasure chest down there. I want it! Looks like I need to be a Power Ranger to get in there. It looks like a Power Ranger helmet. Or do I need to be wearing a certain helmet? One of your best friends. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say I'll tell you. It looks like there's like a certain helmet that it wants me to wear. I'm already wearing the Griffin helmet. Could wear the Griffin armor, but it's so heavy that I'm still I'm still gonna be. No, I guess not. Wait, what? Really? That's the same rolling category. Oh, I can go to the heavier armor. Okay, are you happy now? Mm -hmm. His loins are girded. Not really. Yeah, they are. Cool. The flappy do is not the only thing. Wait, why am I wearing these? These are better. This game's weird with how it like goes along with armor. Because it's like, oh, medium armor. It's actually better than the heavy armor that you're wearing. And now I can't get away from all three of those guys. They slice you open. Cut your head off. Or more like cut your face off. Cut you open. Um, I need to progress. I need to get to a save area so I can level up. I don't know how long these guys are going to track me down, though. Look at him. He's just like... Pondering. We're off to kill this guy. This guy that came into our area. Man, that looks like a crappy staircase to go down in the winter. Well, any staircase is a crappy staircase to go down in the winter. Haven't you ever seen Home Alone? I think the staircases are crappy. I'm Listen. Very accident prone. We know. They don't know. Well, I know. I tripped in front of a whole bunch of people at church two weeks ago, and that was fun. Wasn't it, though? Yeah, like, like I mean, I fell on my butt and twisted an ankle. In front of in all front of the of... prominent women at church. No, this wasn't today. This was... I know. So that time that I fell a couple weeks ago, I was really I know. embarrassed. I know. I remember. People were so nice, but <laughs> it doesn't change the fact that. Uh... Oh, it's okay. I just tripped over there, too. No, you didn't. You walked across the parking lot gracefully. I, yeah, it was bad. We we're doing remodels, and it's this one room um, in the ground, like from where the floor was before, is like. This much unlevel. Have you stepped on that? Like, have you noticed how that is? No, not really. Yeah, it's like, it's like an inch difference. And That's all. Just, just an inch. Biffed it. Biffed it good. Biffed it hard. Biffed it good. Biffed it hard. Yeah, you know what happens to the best of us? Everybody trips. Hmm. Nobody trips as much as I trip. I mean, I'm sure people... There are other people, I guarantee you, that I've trip. I've never seen you trip and fall down. Because I don't trip. Never. Okay, I, I am... Never, like, I am not... Never tripping? I am... I am not part of what you would call everyone. I can tell you specifically, at least three or four times in the last two years that I have tripped in front of people. See, that's some, uh... Not counting me tripping, like, in my own house... 
um, in my backyard, on walks that nobody saw, <laughs> just just in front of people. I'm basically a, a like a main character in a nineties rom com. Except there's nobody there to catch you when you're out walking. Oh, I'm so relatable and I trip a lot. And you never, you don't trip <laughs> around me. Yeah. Uh-uh. -huh. Not in a way that I can romantically catch you and go, oh, it's okay, I got you. No, you just keep walking because you don't usually notice that I tripped until after. Well, you don't tell me. Well, it's not something that I'm like, help, I'm falling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <I've> McFallen. <laughs> New stream title. Help, I've McFallen. Usually it's like, oh, or something. Oh, boy. I go endurance. Actually, really, I usually react Both. afterwards where it's like, oh, I fell. <laughs> Sorry, I've McFallen. <laughs> Basically. I am fluffy. It is okay. I hate that I can't even name my character. He's just Harkin. Things like, well, what's he harking at? I Ugh. bet you that I had like. Scared me. Oh, I can almost level up. Um, I think I probably had like a major ankle twist at least once a year when I was young. Oh. And I thought that that was normal. <laughs> yeah, this is good. It is normal. But like, our kids have never twisted their ankles. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you on that one there, dear. Your weak ankle. I wanted to do if if we were alone, I'd do that thing in Hercules. Where she like pops her leg up. Oh, I'm sorry. What did Stop I do? Stop touching the dove! You're gonna ruin everything. <laughs> I gotta see what this looks like. Ugh, it's a color like a sword. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Gosh, it's slow. I don't like that. Two hundred percent energy. 94% attack speed. You, you're joking. What's up? Because I knew that's what you were going to do. I mean, the initial swing sucks. All right. I'm bored. Okay. Well... Let me attempt this boss. And I know I'm going to absolutely get wrecked. Bye. Is that a praying mantis? That is a three-legged demon thingy. Oh, those aren't mantis things at all. Oh, the damage is pretty good, though. Ow. Damn it! Don't do that. Oh, yeah, I can't even get too close to the middle of the room. How do you like that for fair? What happened? Um, damage. Damage happens. Ow, you a hole. The middle of the room damages you? Or? Yeah, there's like this well that like starts to suck life out of me if I'm not careful. Okay, so I can bust the. Yeah, see the little blue things coming off me? Because mm -hmm. I'm getting too close. So in other words, I should move away from it. No! I went to roll! Damn it, how did that still hit me? It missed, but it hit me at the same time. I've got the huge torture. Yeah, I've got the torture. I'm gonna eat a scone when we go upstairs. I'm gonna eat a scone. Scone. I'm gonna have a scone. Go ahead and have a scone. Oh my we gosh, scone. have a scone. scone. Is so easy. It's just biscuits with more sugar. It's just biscuits with extra steps. Not really. No. You know I rolled. It's literally biscuits. With stuff. 
<sighs> Stop doing that, you giant spidery douche. My phone kept going off during the thing. Well, it wasn't me. No, it was my mom and my brother. Dude, you've got to tell them to leave you alone. They were trying to tell me happy birthday. At 9 o'clock at night? No, it was like 7.30. Sheesh. Could have sent it sooner. No, my mom texted me this morning, but she didn't get to call me. Um, because she was working. Um, Psh, excuses. My brother, I don't know. I don't know why he didn't call me. He called me yesterday. And he goes, it's your birthday today. It's your birthday. Woogie, nope. woogie, woogie. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> it in fact is not, dear brother. <laughs> who should know my birthday by now? Should. I think it's because it's 11, 12. And I think that he remembers 11. You know? So he thinks my birthday is on the 11th. Because he's done that before. My dad did that to me once. Whoa! Where'd he go? Why is it over there? Nothing. It, uh... He stopped? Kind of bugged out of the arena? Stuck? Uh. It is not stuck. <laughs> I'm out of healing. Come on. You've got a long ways to go on him. Yeah, I know. Gosh! The roll mechanics in this game just suck butt. If I could just roll just a touch faster. Like, seriously, just a little bit faster. See, like, I rolled. There's no iframes in this. The only problem. You died. Yeah, I know. Stop. Stop. I just don't want to keep getting these great weapons that have stupidly slow... Swing speeds. And then these guys. Okay. I'm going to try it one more time. What? I didn't say I was only going to try it once. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Odd one! Hi. I'm fighting a big, bad, scary thing. I'm actually not doing too horrible on this one. Made your water bottle pretty. Made my water bottle pretty? Yeah. My water bottle's already pretty. Just popping in raw. Uh, hi. I don't want to be pretty, okay? Can I do your hair on stream? Do my hair on stream. What do you mean, do my hair? Define do my hair. Oh boy, this is... Let me at least scooch over. So I can be more centered. This is this is happening, I guess. I like I didn't actually wait for an answer. I have my headset on. How are you going to do this? Yeah, I busted off some armor. Yeah, yeah, there was no there was no consent here. Did you remember to change your laundry? I did remember that actually. <laughs> I did remember that. I'm so pretty. I'm pretty. Pretty sure I'm gonna die. Probably. You know what? Why am I not using that spell? Come on, do a big attack so I can. Terrible pencil you have. Uh, I think it was one of the boys. 
Wait, is that thing gone already? Did Tucker use this? I don't know why. It's not sharp. Tucker's then no, weird. Tucker wouldn't use it if it wasn't sharp. <laughs> so weird about sharp pencils. You're like, I can't find a pencil. There's a whole box full of them. They're not sharp. He's a little he's a little particular about his pencils. Good point. Are you going to leave that in? Well, I can't really do anything about it right now, unfortunately. You've bested me. Please don't. No! <laughs> now, you know what? That one I'm going to do something about. Oh, he took my clip. <laughs> You're damn right I did. I don't have any more anything. Shame. I don't have anything to make pretty. Kill that thing. I'm gonna kill that thing. I'm gonna never do. kill that one too. What? I don't have lights to change colors to. Yeah, don't you? On what? You used to change colors on. That was when I used the floodlights. Remember? I used to have the big floodlights that would shine back at the wall. Yeah. I don't use those anymore. These aren't LED. They are, but they don't change color. Why would I do that? Those are my key lights. You don't do that with key lights, you goof. Ow! I don't know what the hell that was supposed to be. Where are your floodlights? On the floor still. Where? They're out and about. Oh, I see one. How late are you going to stream? I came from another stream and I want to spend time in both streams, but Not it all depends on how long. late. Not long. Pretty much. It's my birthday. Can you let me talk, lady? <laughs> Pretty much as soon as I die to this boss. So wait, did my spirit spell my whatever? Is it that one? The remote? What? Turn what on? No, they're not even plugged in. And it, it's an app on my phone. What's the remote here? That's for the lights under my desk. Oh, let's turn those on. Why do you want to turn my lights on? It is my birthday. Because I'm bored. I want to turn my lights on. I didn't even like realize that I was taking damage. I have so many fun things. Oh yeah, I do have a lot of random crap in here. Really sad on this. Oh yeah, because the color. So since it's a green screen, it has a hard time with not only green, but yellow. And then blue gets really dulled. Because you know how color works. You just call me dull. Are you yellow or are you blue? We were all yellow. I'm blue. I'm blue, I'm blue. Oh, nice. <laughs> Ah, you fool! You've left yourself open. Just the once. I'm actually getting it pretty far on this one. This is me when I was 18. <laughs> hey, look, that's the same color I'm wearing. She's a, she's a freaking, just like she is now, she's a freaking hottie. Hey, look, I beat it. I look very coy. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, look at that thing. Why is my face? Oh, it's that guy. Oh, that guy. There's dirt inside of this frame, dude. Like that is. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know how that works. I remember that shirt. I miss that shirt. I do too. I have to bat for it. <sighs> See, look at that. See what happens when I get to try it multiple times. Oh, did you win? I beat it. Did you win? I win. Are you winning, son? Yes. I beat the hidden full of traitor. Now, where is the crystal -y boy? Do I have to... At this point, I'm just trying to be annoying. Oh, hey. Why are you just now here? Where were you the last five minutes? You mean you stood there and watched me kill that thing? 
taking care of that guy for you was just easy peasy. I put my glasses down. Well, the victor goes the spoils. So I'll take this. Her armor reminds me of in How to Train Your Dragon. All those stone tablets. And uh, they're talking many. about the mom's armor. <laughs> it was her breastplate and then for the helmet. Oh yeah, matching <laughs> set. I what do I get? Extra funny because then you see his mom. The Eurus. And Ooh, she's like a skinny little thing. pole sword. So what plans do you have for your birthday? I mean, I'm probably going to go start a Being movie. Awesome. Being a badass. I do not want to watch the movie. You slept through the whole You fell asleep yesterday when you watched it. You want to it was a boring movie. It was a good movie. You were laughing. Uh, you really laughed at Channing Tatum's butt. Channing Tatum's butt in that movie was funny. It was just like smooth like a baby's butt. It's like I swear they shaved it and conditioned it, made his butt. It probably it, there's no way that was his real butt. That was his real butt. It really, really was. Uh what was that movie? Uh The Lost City. The Lost City with Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum. And Brad Pitt. And Brad Pitt. And the lady from what's her name? Divine Divine Divine, Divine something. From uh, Only Murders in the Building. And other. What are the other oh, oh, and Daniel Radcliffe, which we had. Knight no likes the butt. You shut up. That is not what I said. I said I was laughing at it because I was like, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's Channing Tatum's butt with leeches all over it. I'll see what I can find. Just turn your brain off and enjoy. Right? Oh, Jake had like a prediction that was not true, unfortunately. Yeah, really should have been. Really good prediction. Should have been true. It should have been. Okay, I need to find that little save crystal thingy. The next one. Oh, that. Okay, I know where that is. It was funny um, when Danny Radcliffe came on. It was like way at a distance. And both Jake and I like kept leaning closer and closer. And we're like, is that... Is that Daniel Radcliffe? All of a sudden, Daniel Radcliffe is this. Daniel Radcliffe is a treasure. I mean, he's all right. Guns Akimbo? Okay, Guns Akimbo was a good movie. Guns Akimbo was amazing. Shut up, dude. I don't like raunchy movies, and I don't like movies that have like a, like excessive cussing or excessive violence. And all of those are things that Guns Akimbo is, but it was amazing. Ooh, I like that. This weapon. I mean, that's an okay weapon. Uh, where was the doorway that I came down originally? I think it was this. Oops, I didn't mean to use that spell. My bad. Let me get back to the big crystal thing. Did you change the ink? No. What is going on with our ink? Why is it going through it so fast all the time? I don't know. I'm not some kind of computer wizard. Brad Pitt those. stole every scene he was in. Yeah, oh that's true. And then there was the mid credit, or, yeah, mid credit scene, and Jake didn't see it. He was. Asleep. I fell asleep. Okay. God forbid I'd fall asleep during a boring movie. I kept poking you in the face to wake you up. You did? Yeah, you woke up every time I poked you in the face. You'd be like, "I'm trying." Oh he said, yeah. You said, "I'm kind of listening." Yeah. I really wasn't though. The only movie he said. Um, the only movie we've been to. Spoiler alert, he's alive. Yeah, she told I me know. that he, he was alive. The, the last movie that I went to was Lyle Lyle Crocodile. And the last movie before that that I went to was, what was that? Um, oh my gosh, why, this is the stupidest thing to blank on. I don't know. Uh. It's a stupid thing to worry about. No. Here you go. Oh, uh, the remake. Of a children's movie that we went to see together. Um uh with Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Oh, Doolittle? Oh my gosh, why could I not think of Dr. Oh Doolittle? yeah, that that was a while ago. That was Doolittle. Yeah, was in 2020 was the last was time. Was Lyle Lyle any good? Kinda of looked meh. Uh I thought it looked meh too, and I do not like CGI um kids movies like that have live action and CGI mix. But it was surprisingly good. So there you go. Um, I quite liked it, and the music was really good. 
I didn't know that I like Sean Mendez because I don't really listen to things. Yep. All right. Well, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it there because it is Coco's birthday and yeah. it's only an hour. So it's not like you're missing out on a bunch. I know who we're going to raid to because he hasn't been live very much lately and we love Pistol. I don't know why it's in all caps. He's playing Dead by Daylight. So we're going to raid out to Pistol. Uh, and um, we're going to, yeah, we're, we're going to call it. We're going to call it there. Uh, Tuesday. I kind of want to start something new and kind of like split my days between Lords of the Fallen and whatever else. Um, I love the Lost City and my new non Harry Potter Daniel Radcliffe movie is Swiss Army Man. Okay, Never heard of that one. Oh, Swiss Army Man. I don't know that one. Oh. I'll have to look into that one. Um, uh, so yeah, Tuesday, we might be starting something new. I haven't decided yet. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I need to check out the Weird Al <gasps> yeah, movie. I forgot movie, about right? that. No, Roku channel? Roku. So it's free. Um, but yeah, uh, have a good weekend, everybody. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out with me. Us. I don't know why I always do peace. <laughs> peace. A lot of people still do peace. There's nothing I, wrong with that. A lot of people. I don't, but I do it on your camera. A lot of people still do it. They'll be like, peace. No. Rose does that when she leaves. She puts a piece right up to the camera. And she probably makes faces at people when you can't see. She's like, uh, I can think of something new you can start Tuesday. You just got to come get it. You, don't you dare tempt me with that. Uh, you need to just watch Swiss Army Man and ride up your alley. Okay, we will. All right. Goodbye. 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 Uh, Razzle, I might take you up on that. Honestly, I might. Uh, goodbye. Uh, get, get out. We're going to go hang out with Pistol. He's way more worth your time than I am. Um, yeah. Have a good weekend. Have a good Sunday. I'll see you on Tuesday. I, might be starting I'm something new. More. Okay, bye. <laughs>